Hmm. Yeah, they have no materials in the sewing hut, which is the, the, the problem. I'll set it up anyway, and then it is there for when we actually want it. So, the shoes. Okay, okay, you're not making those. There's nothing we can make out of leather, because I've just got rid of it all. Water skins. What are we doing in the way of water skins? We need linen thread for that. The coifs, well, that's all sold. About fur stuff. Fur and leather. No, not possible, sadly. There is some stuff that requires just leather, though, isn't there? It's shoes. Well, go on. It'll craft that until we get to the flax season. There'll be more leather supplied tomorrow from the hunters, so that's not a problem. I can get them on simple bags, actually. Because that is a pain... And the farmers will need it, and it should last forever. A general bag needs fabric, but that does not. So let's put that up. How many can you make in a day? Not many, and I can wear a lot out just planting some of those fields. So put them on that until the next flax harvest, and then you'll be spinning thread. You'd love to watch Far Cry 6? Start a good story in quest, maybe not Far Cry 6. I don't know. I'll see about that. I just feel like uh, I've maybe missed the boat on it, which I don't mind. So I got a farmer and a crafter. I don't feel like I need anybody else just yet, so that's okay. Oh, I do need a vendor, though. Who's left? What's she eating? She's eating a bloody apple. So they won't eat... The villagers won't eat apples if they are in my uh, town. But they'll sit around the campfire elsewhere eating it. That is just an insult. Who have we got? There's an Amanda. Is she out the back or is she asleep in there? She is asleep. Okay, I think we're about to run out of daylight. She won't talk to me, will she? No. I don't think I'll find many vendors awake now. Good time to go thieving, though. Hello. Right, I guess we head back then. Mission accomplished. We got the farmer and we got a crafter. And we have a house free to recruit a lady for the next thing. Is it worth running to Branica? Mm, it's not. I'll be teleported back anyway, won't I? This is the problem. I want to go mining here, but I'll be teleported right back at the end of the season anyway. You'd watch Far Cry 6 for sure. I was mostly joking. I feel like you missed the boat on watching it. You're sure a couple of the streams you followed were going to play it, but they pretty much only did the sponsored stuff and then went back to their spooky October games. I know, right? There's a, there's a few streamers have done just the entirety of October on spooky games. I mean, I get the Halloween thing, uh, but an entire month of spooky games? That is a lot. And I also know Halloween's a bigger thing in the US than it is for us in Britain. So maybe that's why it doesn't really sort of sing to me all that much. But an entire month's worth is a bit much. All right, well, maybe Far Cry 6 is still on the cards then. See if I can get across this lake before it's it's too late. <laughs> Walking through the forest in the dark with wolves around implying this isn't a spooky game. I'll tell you what, when that bear found me, it certainly got very spooky very fast. We went to brown alert straight away. Oh, the villagers don't like my apples. Ah, that might be a thing. Maybe we should grow a variety that they like. I know a very rude joke about that, but I better not tell it on Twitch. Come on, can we get across this? We can't be far off hitting some of these things, you know. Where's the farming one? Actually, we're not far off for the building for the woodshed too. Ooh, that'll be good. We can increase our wood production then. 
And then the mine. Oh, but yeah, you say we're not far off the mine. Bloody hell, it's two and a half to five thousand. That's one a hell of a jump. And the builder's hut is further on still. On this, we've got the fishing hut. And then to get to the second hunter's lodge. The farming one is... We're nearly there. We're so nearly there at the barn too. And then hopefully that'll help us... Look at this. We need six points of experience. That'll hopefully get us towards the stable pretty quick. Doing everything I can to get there. We'll have another look at what we can grow in winter. Or what farming we can do in winter. I think we're getting to the stage of the game where, unfortunately, I feel like I'm hitting this slow spot where progression has slowed down because we can't unlock more stuff that we need to do the next thing. I guess we can do the story quests, such as they are, and I guess also just build more houses to get more people in. The food production we should be able to manage. That's, that's the only the real thing. A little bit of, bit of mining to keep the tools coming in and food production. That's only the really essential stuff. Everything else is automated quite nicely. Oh, I need to go back to the house anyway because winter's coming up next. And when it's winter we need the better clothing on, don't we, to keep warm. So I was going to have some nice gardens orchard and stuff outside my own house however it doesn't seem to work quite as I've had planned so I don't know I'll have to rethink how we position it you know and you know I've got beds I've, I've built this lovely house I put beds for you to lay about you don't need to sit on this cold stone floor I'm off to bed I think it won't let me This is my house, and it won't let me go to sleep. How is life treating you? You're hurt. Here, grab this. Oh, you're the best. Oh, she cares about me. Look at that. Small talk. Let's do some small talk. What's on your mind lately? I want something to stir up our idyllic valley like a rock thrown into the smooth water. Smooth water. I used to skip stones when I was a kid. It'd be nice to feel so thrilled again, as I were back then during those carefree times. How's your day going? So, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm bored. That's enough small talk, I think. See you soon. Right, so why can't I go to sleep in here? I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take this stuff out first. But why, why can I not use the bed? Because it's my house, but it will not let me use the bed. Right, I'm going to light that fire. Now can I use the bed? No. This is a new one on me. I have absolutely no idea why I can't uh, do any of this. Quick save and load. It's a bug. Well, in that case, we'll do that then. That was 1919. Yep, that's the right one. We'll do that. Just because... Any other bugs and glitches? It might be, we might have bugged several things out, but we'll get that done. It's actually pretty quick to load this game in compared to other ones. Like my Divinity Original Sin 2 game, that takes, <laughs> takes a long time to load, especially when you get towards the end. Those are big saves. I suppose it's recording a lot of stuff that's gone on in that world, though. Right then, we should be able to now sleep. Yeah, we can. Thank you. For the next season. Thanks for that, uh, Death of Glory. They can sleep as well. Interesting, she's gone into bed, so I'm guessing that it wasn't just me that was bugged. I'm guessing that the whole beds are bugged when that's the case. Let me put... Uh... Oh, I forgot to sell the coifs. And what the hell did I sell in their place? Oh, the small pouches. Right, we have a lot of trading to do then in that case. Thick leather gloves, let's keep warm. Nice. I don't know if there's any 
farm work to do. Uh, we can plant carrots winter to summer and spring to autumn. We could plant the carrots. I'll let the I'll let those guys do that. We'll go and I mean this is a good time for building houses, I suppose. Felling down trees. We'll go and sell our stuff. I had built a road all the way to Denica, but as you can see we don't need it because it is so close to the back of our house. Right, I come bearing amazing trade goods. You'll do, Kinga. Don't go anywhere. Hello. Show me your wares. Only the best products here. What shall we sell? Small pouches. Yes, nice. And the coifs. I can get nine. Farewell. See you soon. Who else have we got to sell to? We've got any new villagers for hire? Go check them out. Three. Oh yeah. Oh, she was like that before. Okay, so it's not new, but she is. She's still there. How is life treating you? Show me your wares. Whatever you need, I've got it. Oh, we're on one. Coifs. Fifteen. We're now on twelve grand. That's nice. So we can afford the horse when we get the option of it. A long time from now, I suppose. Uh, that's good. Farewell. Farewell. New level in diplomacy. Excellent. What does this do? This is something that... Is... Oh, I have leveled it up before a bit. Okay. A good host. Slower mood reduction. The hand of the king. 25% chance to get away with losing king's reputation after failing his challenges. An inspiring speech. Oh, okay. Nice. 5% faster production by NPCs. The barter is... All right, selling prices. I can live without that. Romeo, affection while flirting. I can live without that. The diplomat, reputation, and di diplomacy knowledge. I'm going for the inspiring speech. I want to see what else it unlocks. The creative accounting, lower taxes, and lower demand for food and wood by the villagers. That's quite good, but I think I'm going to go for diplomacy knowledge because this seems like a real tricky one to actually level up. So we'll get that maxed out first. But inspiring speech looks good. Yeah, I need more XP, definitely. There's some good things later on. But uh, I guess we just sell loads of stuff, right, to do that. Let me just take a look at my house here. So there's the one more, there's one house with only, this one's got one person in. It's Hubert. So as this, was it her? She's pretty good. I'm going to recruit her. She's good in a lot of things. How so, are you? see you there. <coughs> nice. I've no idea what I'm going to do with her yet, but she can bunk up with um, that other guy. Simple house. Uh, let's find a workplace for her, actually. It can be anything, can't it? Extraction would be good. I've got to go and fix the hunting lodge again. This is a problem. It seems to break down on such a regular basis. The smithy, the pigsty, everything's full unless I build a fisherman's hut, which I have the plans for, but haven't actually done. Fishing hut is way worse. I guess it adds to the village, though. It'll give us some fish to cook and a skill to develop, if nothing else. And hopefully something that looks nice. See, I could just duplicate up something that's useful, like the extraction or something like that, but it'd be, it would be kind of nice if I, I try to diversify a little bit, just for the looks of it. Hey, Rhesus, nice to see you. Caught you live again. If Twitch email notifications weren't so late, <laughs> how much more time am I going to stream? Uh, I'm going to probably go to about 9 o'clock, so you've probably got an hour and a half tonight, I think. Unless something comes up that makes me extend that if we're in the middle of something exciting. But nice to see you. Yeah, Twitch notifications seems really bad. So, the, oh, the fishing hut needs a lot of upkeep? Ah, oh, that's not good. That is not good. What do we need for this? Straw. Right, go and get eight straw, because I need to do both sides. Um, oh, and this as well. 
Oh, I can do this one at least. <laughs> Maybe not. Do I have a spare bronze hammer? No. Right, I didn't see, but I can pick up sticks. I get a bronze hammer. I'm probably going to do a bit of crafting here, so... Give me one of them. And one of them. And eight straw, please. Oh, don't tell me we don't have enough straw. Right, it's off down to the sea. Go and get some straw. Of course, we, we made it all into animal feed is the reason why. These two fields I'm not happy with just because of the lumpy bumpiness of them. It didn't flatten them out at all when they were built. I'd be tempted to knock them down and maybe put an orchard there in its place. For no particular reason, because orchards aren't great either. You want me to extend? You're excited if that counts? Maybe. Maybe. Aha! You found that you enjoy watching me play more than playing yourself. Someone else said that earlier. That it's the sort of game that they can really enjoy watching somebody else play. Uh, what game? I mean, there's games I've got like that. Um, that's enough straw. That's fine. What, what was the last one? <laughs> Apart from World of Tanks. I did enjoy watching that a little bit. Far more than playing it myself. It's nice seeing someone else deal with the frustration, but, uh, you know, without having to cope with that yourself when you're playing. Um, what else? I don't know, really. Some games are just nice to chill out in the background, too. Um, excuse me, you're going to let my pigs out? Would you mind not standing there with the gate open? Bloody amateurs. Right, let's put my bronze hammer back on. Well, oh, wrong button. The bronze hammer. Oh. Um. Okay, didn't know you could do it that way. That's a long way around of doing it. But it works. Repair. Worth the purchase, just a preference. Guess you'd rather watch me grind versus grinding. Some of it is starting to feel a bit grindy now as we're trying to get to unlock a, a more interesting building to be able to achieve something. Nice. Oh, God. There's that one as well. Didn't count for that one. Right. Is there anything else that needs fixing up? Yes, there is. Oh, these little... Well, people are living in them, so I suppose I better fix them. But, yeah, these are getting ready to replace... And I will really like it when we get the builder's hut later on. And this is all automated. Because this bit, I don't particularly enjoy running around trying to fix things. We've got it. Nice. The barn's going up. All I need is a shed load of sticks now. Well, if I need sticks, I'm going to need logs. So... These trees are coming down. You never like playing like games like this yourself because you can't be bothered with the grind. It does sometimes feel like it's just a bit too much. Not in this one necessarily, but other ones. I think I played a bit of Conan Exiles and that felt very grindy. Uh, this one, up to now, it hasn't felt too bad for me, I've got to admit. But I always feel like... Whatever goal I'm working towards feels well worth the, the time putting in to gather the resources and stuff. But um, it's trying to grind out the experience now for the next building. That's, that's where the grind is coming in on this. And that I could do without. It's a log. So I want to do another building, I want to do something different, but it feels like I'm going to have to grind a load of activities to be able to get the next building, and that's that's kind of where like the barriers come in in these sort of games. It's not that I need the materials for that building, it's that I need to grind loads of an activity to get the knowledge to unlock that building. That's what's slowing us up. <laughs> Any little chicks in there yet? Yes, they're producing. Nice. We'll soon have a 
a bigger supply of eggs, although eggs aren't particularly useful for much repair. I'm surprised I don't kill somebody with this hammer, because it always does one extra swing over what I want when I'm repairing things. I have to, I have to let go before it does the last one. Like that. <laughs> it always does it. Someone will wander right in front of it at some point. And that'll be me dragged off to the gallows. Right, so I've repaired the houses. Please tell me I don't need to reassign people to them. This was the barn two, wasn't it? Well, we're going in the right direction. We've got the barn two and 500 points up from there is the stable and that's what we really want. So we're going to get that crafted. It doesn't look like it unlocks any new stuff, uh, recipes. Just let me make sure what's up with the farmer. No fertilizer, that's okay doesn't really need it in winter and there is fertilizer in production i should have thrown all that food out of the food store that i wanted to rot i forgot about that so let me get where's the barn so let me go for buildings um no sorry not that one farming barn two clonk that's gonna knacker everything but that's okay They'll get back to work in a bit. So I need more logs. And what's the roof made out of? Straw. Really? Okay, I wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, oh, God, we're going to be... Oh, God, I'm going to have to go and pick loads of reeds in, aren't I? Right, let's get uh, some trees down. I might put an end to my farmers working temporarily. I can still hear trees falling in the background. Right across the pig shed. Nice work, Mark. What else went down there? I don't think I'll dig these stumps up, though. It's kind of nice having this uh, ready supply of trees just here. And spruce as well, which are quite good. Yeah, I had a feeling that tree was coming down on my head. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, hang on, we've got another one here. I missed this. We could do a goose house as well. I don't know there's much benefit to it. Just a temptation just to do another building and just to something that's different, you know? Where are we? You've accidentally smacked your donkey on more than one occasion. Thankfully, I have more health than a chicken. <laughs> yeah, when you go and like hit it with a like, hammer or an axe or something when you're out working. We didn't quite get all the logs done. We need lots of logs and straw. Any spruce about? A couple left here. I'm watching my axe slowly degrading. I need to get the barn up and running pretty quick though. That should do. Yeah, that barn is responsible for all my manure production. 
or rather my fertilizer production so it does have to get uh, back to work at the earliest opportunity i better bring a spare axe from the uh, store as well next time i'm going past Right, what else do we need? A lot. Oh, I can't get past that bit. A lot of straw. Is this dare going to tell me I need more logs? It's, it's threatening me. Yep, <laughs> I thought it was. We've put a lot of logs on there. We can't surely need any more. We felled half the forest. Right, tons and tons of straw. I can set extractors up to do that. They just go picking straw down by the riverbank. But uh, I would have thought I would have had enough with all the wheat. Oh, hang on. We've got a field of 100 wheat coming on next uh, spring. That's not going to be an issue, is it? I did actually wonder, Badgers, if uh, smacked your donkey was a euphemism for something that... But uh, I realised then you were talking about the game. Let's grab some of this. This is one of these odd activities that it, it like feels so minor now, just picking reeds out of the lake bed. But I have levelled up one of my skills so many times just doing this that... It's still worth it to come back and grab him. <laughs> oh, we need to do some cooking as well, don't we? Because my chef isn't up to the job. And we could probably insulate some houses too. If I do all that, I can maybe reduce the amount of uh, firewood that we're producing. Right, more reeds. I'll get up to 100 straw and I'll put the excess back in the storage because I'm pretty sure I'll need to do some more repairs soon anyway. One hundred and one. Yeah, the limestone houses look really good. The others look like they desperately need some more work. Just go straight across that field of crops. Because why not? Oops. Yeah, I need to get this finished because they won't do any barn work whilst it's in this state. I think there's a stone house. Yeah, there's a stone house that needs a bit more limestone insulation, so I'll go and work on that. And then I will build a new house, put one of the families into that. And then uh, upgrade one of the old wooden, simple houses. Back to work. Construction completed. Barn 2. Does it look any different? Absolutely the same. Still got the same things inside as well. Are you cold? How can I help you? Mm, small talk? What's on your mind lately? Long barefoot walks through the wild is what I enjoy the most after a hard day of labour, although nature is fascinating. Long barefoot walks? What sort of perverted Goodbye. psychopath does that? Nature isn't nice and smooth and soft. It's rough and spiky and full of turds. You don't go walking barefoot. He wants frostbite of the toes and gangrene. That's one way to go. Right, put the flax stalk away. Put the feathers away. The leather, the linen thread can go. The logs. Uh, we're doing housework, aren't we? 
I'll put them away because they're going to be heavy. The sticks and the straw can go back. Because I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to take that meat with us. And not only that, I've got a stone axe. Oh, well, I suppose that needs finishing off as well. Am I going to do a lot of wood chopping? I probably am. Go on then, I will take a bronze axe. And what was the other thing I wanted? I came here to stuff that I can't remember. We've got all the animal feed in the world. 